Well, Chris, you're the only man that knows what happened from your point of view. Just tell us. Well, I mean, in the driver's meeting today, the uh, starter's instructions were pretty clear. Um, you know, once we're safely across the tram lines, um, we can accelerate, and that's when the green was going to be displayed. And there was going to be no repeat of some of these mistakes we've seen in the past of people stopping and checking up. And that's what the muscle milk car did, and it caused, obviously, a massive accident. So on the restart, clearly, we didn't want to do the same thing. I did the same thing. They did the same thing. And for some inexplicable reason, we've now got a penalty even though we actually gain no on-track advantage. So I'm actually quite disgusted with it. Obviously, it's always a case of perspective, the rules, interpretation of the rules, but obviously behind you, you saw it cause chaos. So it just exaggerates what can happen on a road course. Listen, we lost an hour of racing. The fans lost an hour of racing. I think that's just disgraceful. And then to continue to play further games and make this into a tournament of regulations, that's not what racing's all about. The green flag gets displayed, stand on the gas, go racing. That's what we were doing. We were shown a green flag the first time. You have every reason to expect that the second time you're going to have the same result. Inexplicably, we've got a penalty, and we gained zero on-track advantage, and that's what's so galling about it. We showed up here with the Mazda, had a couple of races off. We were running hard. We were going to get a good result, and now the race is really trashed for us, and I'm, I'm very disappointed with IMSA. I have a feeling this is to be continued. Jamie? Graf was also in that driver's meeting this morning. Klaus, what explanation were you given from the race director, Paul Walter, about the start? Okay, it was very clear that we said we go side by side through the, through the chicane, we come back together, <clears throat> and then with uh, about three rows, he wants to have three rows past the chicane, which is clearly after the railway tracks, and then we go. That's exactly what I did. I maintain pace car speed until I go, and that's what I did. And that's all I have to say. He got around. The other car needs to read the rule book and listen in the driver's meeting. Well, I think Justin said it. Perspective is everything, and uh, we just heard two very different ones. In